several messages for you, Commander. Sorry, building structure resembles hive. Tall buildings filled with drones. Hmm, curious social dynamic. Many queens competing for hive leadership. Odd names around Asari. Unfamiliar. Reminders of old fertility contract negotiations. do that. No, but you're thinking about it. You think it was easy growing up pure blood? I did some stupid things to get away from the taunts. The stupid drug users you're laughing at, I might have been one of them. Can I help you with something? I'm looking for an Asari warrior named Samara. Wait, why? Do you have a problem or... Did she kill somebody already? I have no idea. Just tell me where she is. If you insist, but fair warning, watch yourself around Samara. Justicars have a nasty habit of shooting people. She went to the commercial spaceport a few hours ago. If you want to get there, the pedestal on that balcony will summon a cab. Just be polite when you meet her. Justicars embody our highest laws, and they usually stay in Asari space. She's not used to dealing with aliens. Is Samara really that dangerous? If you follow the laws, you've got nothing to fear, and a Justicar would die without hesitation to protect the innocent. But their code orders them to stop lawbreakers, with lethal force in most cases, and everyone skirts the law somehow on Ilium. If someone tried to bribe her, she'd be obliged to gun them down as a matter of honor. I'm hoping to avoid that. Why are you worried about other species coming into contact with her? If a Justicar kills an Asari, none of us questions it. But if she killed a human, do you think the Alliance would understand her actions and respect her authority? You can't even figure out your own religions. It's a big diplomatic incident just waiting to happen. Tell me about the Justicars. They're a monastic order. They've given up their families and possessions to follow their code. Most of them are on some lifelong mission, but they'll always stop to deal with any injustice they encounter, which can be a problem. In some ways, they're a lot like the Spectres, undertaking personal missions. Spectres are authorized by the Council. Who do Justicars represent? What? That's, like, I don't know a good human metaphor. They represent their code, our code. 
It's closer to a religious group than a legal branch. No law-abiding Asari would question a Justicar's orders. Nobody becomes a Justicar for personal gain. And they die before breaking their oaths. Where do you think you're going? I'm taking my goods to Omega, Detective. You're not going anywhere, Merchant. Not until I solve this murder. I had nothing to do with that. It was those mercenary thugs you can't seem to get rid of. The victim was your business partner, and I'm not ruling you out. I'll let you know when you can leave. What about that Justicar that just showed up? Everyone says she might go crazy and start killing. I need to leave. She'll only kill the unjust, so I'm sure you have nothing to worry about, Pitney Four. Find me in the station if you need me. What do you want? I've already got mercs wanting to kill me like they did my partner. I don't need any more trouble. As if that weren't enough, some Asari Justicar showed up this morning. All the natives are scared of her. I've got to get off this world. Has Samara actually done anything yet? The Asari say that Justicars are lethal in a fight. And if they so much as smell corruption, they start shooting. The thing is, corruption isn't that hard to find around here. Tell me how to find the Justicar. She's in the alley where my business partner was murdered. A detective sealed the area, so you'll have to talk with her if you want to go there. Why do you think it was mercenaries? Dakni Kerr was cutting through a back alley last night when someone killed him with a shotgun. I saw his body this morning. They'd used modded rounds. That means Eclipse Mercs. You must know something about these Eclipse. I occasionally do business with them. But only in well-lit places. With my guards. And only after the creds clear. This is a scummy bunch, even by Merc standards. They sell red sand, all kinds of illegal items, and they are all cold-blooded killers. Why would these Mercs kill him? And why do you think they're coming after you, too? I have no idea. We're innocent merchants. But they killed him, so they must be after me, too. I have to work the angles and get out of here. You don't seem too broken up about your partner's death. Dakni Kerr knew the risks when he took to spacing. Right now, my worry is me. It's unhealthy to be a Volus in the Nosastra spaceport right now. Especially a Volus named Pitney Four. I should go. Nice guns. Try not to use them in my district. What can I do for you? I'm looking for an Asari warrior named Samara. If you've got a score to settle with Samara, take it somewhere else. I've got more than enough trouble here already. I need to find Samara and get back to my mission, with or without your help. Sounds important. Justicars usually work alone, but they are drawn to impossible causes. Best kind. If you're getting her out of my district, I'll get you to her ASAP. She's at the crime scene. You're letting her into a sealed crime scene? I'm a cop. I'll work with the Justicar all I can. Besides, she's been looking at crime scenes longer than our two lifespans combined. 
She knows how to handle herself. You're awfully anxious to get Samara out of your district. My bosses want me to detain her. They're worried she'll cause some kind of cross-species incident. But her Justicar code won't let her be taken into custody. If I try it, she'll have to kill me. I have no interest in dying, so if you lure her away with some big noble cause before I have to carry out my orders, I'm thrilled to help you. Samara would kill a cop? That doesn't sound very just. She would die defending an honest cop, but she'd fight an army of dirty cops to the death. I admire her dedication, but her presence is still a big problem. I need her gone before I have to carry out my orders. Your superiors are sending you to certain death for no good reason. You have a right to disobey. Good to know, given the number of times we're ordered into hazardous situations. Not often enough. Our mission is more important than all of our lives. Anaya's superiors are just being foolish. I'm a cop and I know my duty. I've been ordered to detain her and I will. Unless I can get her to leave my district first. How do I get to the crime scene? It's around the corner. Go outside, take a left. Look for the police line. I'll send word to let you in. Be careful. The local Eclipse mercs have been all over those back alleys lately. You mentioned a crime scene. A Volus merchant was murdered. It was a professional hit, so we're not dealing with junkies looking for a score. I'm thinking the local Eclipse mercenary band. Can't prove it. But if the Volus was dirty too, maybe it's just a deal gone bad. What do I need to know about these mercenaries? Eclipse mercs are professional killers. They sell red sand, trade illegal weapons tech, and smuggle criminals off-world. They control some back alleys around here. I haven't been able to find their nest yet, though. What can you tell me about Justicars? They're a kind of... Humans might call them warrior monks. They live by a complex code that compels them to punish the wicked and protect the pure. They've been a part of Asari culture for millennia. I read adventure stories about Justicars when I was a child. People seem nervous about Samara's presence. Asari admire Justicars, but we also know that they kill without mercy when they find corruption. And Justicars never leave Asari space. Why is she here? I doubt it's to investigate the murder of some corrupt Volas. What do you think of Samara herself? She's been a Justicar longer than three of your lifespans. Whoever she was before she swore that oath, that person is dead. I have to go. Good luck. We'd better find Samara before the detective goes after her. I wanted to be a Justicar when I was young. Every Asari does, I guess. Cops don't admit it, but the Eclipse sisters run this area. Anaya told us to let you through. Watch yourself. There's Merc activity back here. We're waiting on backup.
tell me what I need to know, and I will be gone from here. Where did you send her? You think I'd betray her? She would hurt me in ways you can't imagine. The name of the ship. Your life hangs on the answer, Lieutenant. You can kill me, but one of us will take you down, Justicar. What was the name of the ship she left on? Go to hell! Find peace in the embrace of the goddess. <laughs> My name is Samara, a servant of the Justicar Code. My quarrel is with these Eclipse sisters, but I see three well-armed people before me. Are we friend or foe? I'm Commander Shepard. And I need your help with a critical mission, Samara. You honor me, but I am in the middle of an investigation. I need you to help me take down the Collectors. The Collectors are a worthy foe. I would relish testing myself against them. But I seek an incredibly dangerous fugitive. I cornered her here, but the Eclipse sisters smuggled her off-world. I must find the name of the ship she left on before the trail goes cold. I wish you were willing to go with the human, Justicar. I've been ordered to take you into custody if you won't leave. You risk a great deal by following your orders, Detective. Fortunately, I will not have to resist. My code obligates me to cooperate with you for one day. After that, I must return to my investigation. I won't be able to release you that soon. You won't be able to stop me. I'll get the name of that ship. Do that, and I will join you. Then the code will be satisfied. Can you tell me more about Justicars? We are individuals who have forsworn family, children, and worldly possessions aside from some weapons and armor. We travel a sorry space righting wrongs as defined by the ancient code we have each memorized. Ilium may be dominated by Asari, but it isn't in Asari space. My quarry fled to this place. I am sworn to hunt her down, and I will follow anywhere she goes. It is rare for a Justicar to leave Asari space, but I must follow my oath. If I suffer for it, I will accept that. A moment ago you refused to give up your investigation, but now you'll swear to follow me? If I stay, I will be compelled to kill many innocents to escape incarceration. Like me. I may be killed, and my quarry would be free to continue murdering. If I come with you and survive your mission, I can resume my investigation. To do that, I need the ship's name to track her to her next hiding place. It is a simple choice. Logical calculation. Slim odds, but possible. Better than impossible. This Justicar code seems quite strict. It may seem so to you, but this is my oath. The expedient path may be fast and simple. That does not make it the right path. Do you have any leads? The Volus merchant Pitney Four is tied to this. Eclipse mercs are preparing to kill him. Get the truth out of him. He may know a way into the Eclipse base. Well, I've got to get back to my station, and I guess I've got to take you with me. Thank you, Shepard. Hello again, Earth Clan. Did you speak to the detective? You said you didn't know anything about all this. You've got one chance to change that statement. What do you mean, Earth Clan? Oh dear. Please put that away. I'll be cooperative, I swear. Tell me everything. I smuggled a chemical onto Ilium that boosts biotic powers in combat. It also is toxic. I may have, um, forgotten to mention that to the Eclipse, so they are perturbed and want to kill me. It sounds like you're a swindler and your actions finally caught up with you. True and true. But I haven't survived as a merchant this long without being able to tell when there's a deal in the making. You want something. 
I need to break into the Eclipse base. I do have a pass card they issued me to bring my goods in. Well, I, I had to return that one, but I happened to make a copy. Take it, but be careful. Each Eclipse sister commits a murder to earn her uniform. They are all dangerous. I didn't fire my weapon once. I pretended to because the other Eclipse sisters were watching, but I didn't really shoot. Whatever. Pretend to keep breathing. I'm not one of them. I'm new. I thought being Elnora the mercenary would be cool, but I didn't know what they were really like. You chose your side, Elnora. And you lost. Screw that bastard and screw you! This is valuable. We've been spotted. Oh, the now. <laughs> Engage 
engaging target. I'll put them down! I got it! They've seen it. Yeah. Right on your ass. Detective would want this. We've been spotted. Should do the trick. Engaging. Yeah, target. right up. Found the target. <laughs>
Looks like a shipping manifest. It shows the Pitney 4 sold 2,000 units of Minigen X3 to the Eclipse, along with 600 units of red sand. Not what Samara seeks, but proof that the Volus is a criminal. Valuable information to the Volus. Let's worry about that after we find the ship name. I think things, and they happen. Fear me, lesser creatures, for I am Biotic's main flesh. I don't know what drugs you're on, but stay back and I won't shoot you. You will regret your scandalous words. I am a great wind that will sweep all before me like a... A great wind. A great Biotic wind. Yes. The Asari injecting so many drugs into me was terrifying. But then I began to smell my greatness. They may laugh when I fall over, but they don't know what I know in my head. But I know that I am amazingly powerful. Fear me! Are you part of Pitney 4's trade group? When I was mortal, I worked for Pitney. Poor soul is probably terrified that I have not returned. Don't think he's reported anything. Pitney picks money over friends. Unsurprising. Bah! I will wreak a just revenge upon his people. But first, the leader of these mercenaries is in the next room. I shall toss Wasaya about like a rag doll. This idiot is no challenge to anyone. I will tear her apart. My biotics are unstoppable. Charge. An ill wind blows upon Wasaya, captain of the Eclipse Sisters. After me! Unfortunate. Done for the moment.
Everything's gone to hell since we smuggled that filthy creature off-world. First a Justicar shows up, now you. At least I can take pleasure in turning your head into a pulpy mass! <laughs> Likely the ship name Samara requires. All enemies accounted for. That the ship the crazy Asari wanted to find? Want to head back now, or look around first? Let's give her the name and keep moving. Thank you for removing the Eclipse threat, Earth Clan. It will take them months to rebuild their organization. Also, merely out of curiosity, when you were poking about, did you perhaps run across a shipping manifest that belongs to me? We both know this manifest will get you sent away for a long time. Absolutely, Earth Clan. For the manifest, I'll give you all the creds I made selling the Minigen. Here's the manifest. Next time you do something illegal, don't write it down. An excellent point, Earth Clan. You're clearly a better criminal than I. A pleasure doing business. I've got the name of the ship. Your fugitive left here two days ago on the AML Demeter. Shepard, you impress me. You fulfilled your part of the bargain, and I will fulfill mine. I am ready to leave immediately, if that will satisfy your superiors, Detective. You're free to go, Justicar. It has been an honor having you in my station. And it's nice you didn't kill me, too. You're sworn to follow a code that dictates your decisions. But I'm running a military operation. You wonder if I will refuse to follow orders because of my code? I can't allow that to happen. By agreeing to follow you, I am compelled to swear the most difficult of Justicar oaths, the third oath of subsumation. After I do, your orders will override the code. You should know, however, that I'll still give you my opinion if the situation warrants. The Normandy is docked near the main trading floor. I'll see you aboard. I must be sworn to your service, so that I am never forced to choose between your orders and the code. By the code, I will serve you, Shepard. Your choices are my choices. Your morals are my morals. Your wishes are my code. I never thought I'd see a Justicar swear an oath like that. If you make me do anything extremely dishonorable, I may need to kill you when I'm released from my oath. Now you have to do whatever I tell you? 
I am sworn to you. Do not make more of it than that. Shall we return to your ship? I need to speak to the detective. Thanks for getting Samara out of my district. I can tell my granddaughters about meeting a Justicar, and you've just upped my chances of living long enough to have grandkids. This evidence names the murderer. Turns out basic police work isn't so hard. You just have to leave the station. I'll keep that tip in mind. Now, what have you got there? Interesting. But I can't verify it. It would be inadmissible. I vouch for Shepard, and any evidence he brings forward. I accept the judgment of the Justicar. You're not big on the charm, but you get the job done, and I'm old enough to appreciate that. Never heard of this Elnora. Sounds like she was just starting her career. Good thing you cut it short. Okay, enough with all the congratulations. I've still got a spiraling crime rate. Welcome to the Normandy, Samara. We've studied your profile extensively. With your skills, I think you'll be an excellent addition to our team. Thank you. From an organization such as yours, that is high praise indeed. With what we're planning, we need all the experienced people we can get. We still don't know what we're gonna find when we hit the Collectors. I will be prepared for whatever we encounter. Where shall we put you? A room that looks out on the great empty void would be most comforting. Put her in the observation room on Deck 3. Thank you. I must meditate on the day's events. There is nothing more absolute than the oath of an Asari Justicar. You did well getting Samara on our side. Anyway, how may I help you, Commander? Is there anything I should know? You have unread messages at your private terminal. Jack would like to see you down in her hidey hole on the engineering deck. Anything else, Commander? That'll be all. Yes, Commander. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal.
Got some pressure loss in the number four hydrogen tank. Lock it down, Edie. So, Commander, even your Asari are trained killers? Get everyone at the same store or something? I assume everything is going well up here? Good for now. Fractured my thumb on the mute, but I think I made my point. That's it for now. See you, Commander. What's this area of the ship? This is one of the ship's observation decks. They provide a sweeping outside view for off-duty personnel. This room is a structural weakness. Any transparent material is weaker than our armor. The elusive man predicted you would object. In combat, the observation rooms are sealed and depressurized. Sheets of ablative armor are extended to cover the windows. Shepard. What are your impressions of Miranda and Jacob? Jacob is an earnest young man. Events will either forge him into a great man or utterly destroy him. Miranda is undoubtedly a hard woman. I respect her strength and determination. She carries many burdens and doesn't share them with others, as it should be. How do you think our mission is going? Building our forces is a good strategy. However, the time to strike is coming soon. How are you? I've spent much of the last 400 years on my own. It is nice to have a colleague to chat with. I may be rusty at it, however. If you are patient, I would love to talk. How much do you know about our mission? I know that I've sworn an oath to follow you, and that you seek to destroy the Collectors. That is enough for me. You don't want to know why the Collectors need to be fought? When you live by a code that compels you to harsh action, you learn the dangers of curiosity. If I must kill a man because he has done wrong, do I really wish to know that he is a devoted father? I'd like to hear more about the criminal you were chasing on Nos Astra. I hope you will understand if I wish to avoid this topic. It is deeply tied to my code and beliefs. You might say it is personal. I need to know if this will impact the mission. It will not. What do you think of Cerberus? I've heard rumors, but learned long ago to form my own impressions. There is too much room for interpretation in the opinions of others. Why were you willing to work for Cerberus when you didn't have first-hand knowledge? I work for you, Shepard. Our methods may be different, but our goals are not. I should get back to work. It has been my pleasure, Commander. Hey, got a minute? Liara Tissoni's got quite a reputation. I've done business with her people before. Not a lot of people go in and out of Dr. Chakwa's office, other than to get medical attention, I mean. I hear you shared a drink with her. That's really nice. I imagine with all that's happened, old friends are becoming a luxury. Gabby and Ken would make a great couple. I just doubt they'll ever realize it. Come back later. I'm sure I'll have more to talk about. For another lesson. Get a knife stuck in the right way, and you can pull that plate right off a Krogan's head. It's the best way to get a Krogan to talk. The threat of it drives a man.
Me and a buddy were hired to take out this one guy, Matthias, I think. Hell, I forget. Turns out it was a trap. We got jumped by a hit squad. Two Batarians, a Krogan, and a Hanna. Damn jellyfish nearly choked me to death. Wore a neck brace for weeks to cover that up. Haven't underestimated a Hanna since. I should let you go. Talk more later, Shepard. I got thoughts, like little bugs crawling in and out of my head. I can't stop them. You know I have a history with Cerberus. You know how far back it goes? We've got work to do. Get to the point. I work for you, and you work for Cerberus. They're in my face all the time. This is gonna make me crazy. Crazier. Your pal, the elusive man? Never seen him before, but Cerberus raised me. First thing I remember is my cell door in a Cerberus base. They did experiments, drugged me, tortured me. Whatever chance I had to be normal, they stole it by trying to turn me into some super biotic. The doctors, the other kids, every one of them hated me. They let me suffer. What did they hope to gain by torturing a little girl? It was something about pain breaking down mental barriers and how it might clear the way for a more biotic power. I'm sure there was a payoff due at some point, but I wasn't going to see it. I was wired up in a cell. You love the power they gave you. They never gave me a choice. They tortured you just to see if they could make a strong biotic? That's it? Wasn't in a position to ask, Shepard. All I know is... a little girl crying in a cell, begging for the pain to stop. How did you get out of there? There was some kind of emergency, and I made a break for it. The other kids came out of their cells and attacked me. So did the guards. I just killed everything in my way and ran. Guess my biotics had developed faster than they thought. I managed to get a shuttle off the ground. Drifted until a freighter picked me up. The crew used me, then sold me. That's my uplifting escape story. There were other children in the base? I didn't know much about them. I was kept separate. They hated me just like everyone else there. When I broke out, I had to fight through them all. I showed them, but there's a loose end I need to deal with. You're absolutely certain that Cerberus was running the facility? I was a kid, but I wasn't dumb. I know how to listen. It was Cerberus. Don't care how far down the chain it was. They thought they were so clever. Turns out, mess with someone's head enough and you can turn a scared kid into an all-powerful bitch. Fucking idiots. Sounds like they've done a serious 180 since those days. I'm not trying to convince you of something, Shepard. I don't care what they're doing now. I found the coordinates in your files. I want to go to the Telton facility on Pragia, where they tortured and drugged me. I want to go to the center of the place, my cell. I want to deploy a big fucking bomb, and I want to watch from orbit when it goes. Attacking our allies is going to derail our mission. Not a smart move. The files say it was shut down after my escape. It's been abandoned for years. They going to care if I blow up a garbage dump? You've lived with this your whole life. Why do this now? Like I said, I found the coordinates in your files. You can't expect me to just sit on information like that. Jack, you can't hang on to this. It's messing you up. Yeah, great advice, but I've been messed up for years. No thanks to them. The only way I put that place behind me is to watch it burn. Our mission is the priority. If we have time, we'll go there. Don't wait too long. I need to do this soon. I need it.